Eric the Midget, you're on the air. Good morning. Yeah, what happened to you? I picked up on you before and I didn't hear anything. Where were you? I had my phone muted and I forgot that I did that. He called me and muted his phone and he was probably talking to me. Right, he was trying to talk. No. I was calling to talk about American Idol last night. Well, you missed it. I, I did already an hour on it. I, I don't think I should really continue talking about it. It can get a little creepy. You know what I mean? It's enough. Why did you call him when I was talking about it? Because I hadn't gotten up yet. Yeah. All right, well, give me one comment about it, and then I'll move on. Well, just that I think that um, Crystal should have won because she sang better. Right. But I, did, I didn't like the three songs that they picked for her, and she picked. All right. All right, thanks, Eric. Also, last yeah. week, did anyone notice that we threw a better first pitch than Gary. I didn't see that, but I, I, mean, I, I think most people could throw a better pitch than Gary. Oh, wow. uh, Eric, real quick, a question for you. Without Simon, is the show over? No, I don't think so. Who should be the new judge? Uh, I think maybe Elton John would be a good No, choice. wrong. Elton John's too nice. Is it? Elton John is Elton John. He, he's not going to sit there and judge American Idol. Elton John is an icon. He makes a fortune. What is he going to do, sit there and judge kids? Yeah, he, he's got much better yeah. things to do. Yeah, Elton John wouldn't even accept the job. If he does, it means he's on really fucking hard times. That means he bought so many flowers and... And, uh, and that and, the taxes have gotten so yeah, high. And he bought so many duck costumes that he's bankrupted himself, if we see him on there. I mean, what would you rather do? Host American Idol or go out in front of 100,000 people and make millions of dollars in one night? I'd rather perform. Yeah, me too. And it, one, one, by the way, you know what? They better come and beg me to do that. I, I, by the way, I, do, I wouldn't even take it. I just like that everyone's debating whether or not they should hire me. Right. They would have to blow me to do it. I told you. I was offered this year a fucking my own network television show. Being a judge. My own fucking show. I would run the whole fucking goddamn thing. I turned it down. Why, why would I go to American Idol where that, that show's already losing ratings? They, they didn't even announce how many votes they got for last night's final. You know oh, why? They, they used to make a big wow. deal about no, that. No, they, they kept it completely quiet. The wow. reason? Because it wasn't that impressive. They're all in denial over They're there. They're in bad shape. They'd then. be lucky to get me. I can't. Uh, Eric, you love the show as much as ever? Yeah, and the show still has... I'm kind of influenced because last week when I went to the Carrie Underwood concert, the opening group said that after they performed on the show, the song they performed that night went to number one on iTunes. Right. Those brothers. All right, Eric, are we done? Well, just real quick. Yeah. <laughs> two things got misreported about me either yesterday or the day before that one of them was Steve Link for one of his reasons for coming out to L.A. was because... Uh, it's my... Eric, I gotta go. There was no Just misreporting, Eric. No. There was no misreporting. You know about this? What I'm... they said was he originally was going to L.A. to cover that, but that in, that didn't happen. Right. Well, that was... The... Eric, I gotta go. This is so the boring. The reunion was the week before the trip to L.A. Eric, oh, Eric, oh, Eric. So silly. Eric, this is so boring. Have mercy on me. And then the other mm. thing was... <laughs> he doesn't have mercy, this kid. 122 on my list, not 102. What is uh, that about? Do you know about that? I don't know what list he's talking about. I'm not going to ask. The blog list that I did. Do you know anything about this? Oh, the women. The women. He had a blog list of the women he thought were the hottest. You know what I heard? You know what Jimmy Kimmel told me? Eric's got some sort of weird list on his blog. Where it's like a registry, you know, like when people get, um, they have like a, a baby or they have a marriage and you go on and buy them gifts. Yeah. He has some sort of registry where like of things he wants people to pay for for him. Oh, you're kidding. No, and it's a really weird list, Jimmy said. Like, oh. Jimmy what was almost going to go want? buy him. Jimmy was going to buy, like, I think he wants a trip to the chicken ranch. <laughs> That's uh, Amazon.com doesn't offer that. Uh, what, what do you, what do you have? Some, where is it's this a list? Wish list? Yeah. Where is that list? It's on Amazon.com. And what do you read? The things you want the audience to buy you. 
I don't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, I got to get it. Like computer. Hey, guys, see if you can track it down. It's wild. Because Jimmy said he was going to go on and buy our something. Really? Like, yeah, because he said it was so fucked up. It's like a registry, like a bridal registry. Yeah, but it's what you get him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's not getting you anything. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone bought you anything? Yeah. There have been some things that have been purchased off of that. What'd you get? I got some computer games off of the list, some art supplies. What kind of art? What kind of artwork are you into? Just doing some freehand artwork. Like you draw or something? Yeah. I gotta see that. Have we ever seen his artwork? No. You know it's got to be incredibly childish. It must look like one of those. You know what we ought to do? Take get one of his paintings, bury it in the dirt, like by some Indian reservation, uh-huh. and people will think it's native, like it's like uh, a native <laughs> child, like a simple, like what, early man's drawings, very simple, like a cave drawing. They go, wait a crude second, drawings. Look, even back in the Paleolithic days, <laughs> they drew. You know it's got to be incredibly crude. Could he have talent? Paleolithic man mm. predicted the car. Look at this. <laughs> you don't even have hands, right? Of course he has hands. hands. Oh, you do? Yes. He's just club fucking footed. All right. All right. Mature, though. He doesn't have lobster hands? No. No, you fucking idiot, Fred. <laughs> this is the question. <laughs> You're trying to get under his skin. Am I? I was just curious. Nah. Could your art be any good? I think it is. No. Yeah. Have you ever sold any? Never tried. No. Yeah. Uh, does anybody but you hang it? Just send me some of that stuff. I want to have some fun. Like, with do it. you give it to family members and they put it up? I haven't really done much in a couple of years. So you got art supplies. You got um, what else do you say? Computer games. Computer, Computer games. Computer games. Yeah. What is JD? Jason's printed out his list. Yeah. Uh, it has two hundred and fifty items on wow. it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So who are the people that sent this stuff to you? Fans. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What made you uh, come up with this idea? Uh, I got it, Howard. It's a ballsy idea. Yeah. Right? Here's a list of things I like. Buy them for me. You ready? Go ahead. There's a lot of CDs. Um, she's like Texas. Uh, the Wreckers. Um, a lot of country CDs. Michelle Branch CD he'd like. A Minnie McCready CD. Sounds like the worst music list ever. He'd like uh, the Courtyard Hounds CD. I want the court. What are the court hard? Y- what courtyard, courtyard hounds? You know what that is? The court. So, that, that is the courtyard hounds. Is the Dixie Chicks without Natalie? Mm. You want the Dixie Chicks without Natalie? Yeah. That that can't be good. He'd also like Madden NFL Eleven. Uh, are the Dixie Chicks without Natalie any good? I mean, isn't Natalie is it just music? <laughs> isn't Natalie with sort no of singing? The, isn't she sort of the thing? Isn't Eric, she, you're not answering. Isn't Natalie the magic there? I guess. Yeah. I I was going to... I tried to call in last Friday to this lovely fan round table to ask her, you know, about that and never got through. Right. Howard, he would like an Oakland Athletics countertop refrigerator for $470. What are you going to do with that? Put it in my room. Yeah. Why does it have to be the Oakland Athletics? Because that's the team that I like the best for baseball. But wouldn't you just get a refrigerator? Imagine his apartment, too. Full With all these logos, logos all over everything. Howard, tons of Oakland A's. Sounds like a nightmare. Duffel, <laughs> he wants a duffel bag, a waste paper bag, all Oakland A stuff. Six different kinds of Oakland Athletics uh, hats. He would like a Tombow <laughs> dual brush pen set. What's that cost? Like, uh, he wants a, Howard, he wants a leather recliner. <laughs> How much is that? What are you going to do with that leather recliner? Where are you going to put that? You got room for it? He reclines all day. Yeah, but where's he going to put it? Where do you want that? For what room? Probably if I could fit it in here in my room. Why do I want... Like, Jimmy, why do I want to buy him something? I kind of do. That's what I don't understand. I'm like, how did he come up with this idea, and who wants to buy him something? I'm just trying to decide what to buy out of all these things. What's the funniest thing I could buy that I could say, yeah? A $300, 155 double-end marker set for drawing. Wow. He'd like a, so it's a special pen for drawing. A PlayStation 3 would be nice also. Anything else that's cool? What do you think I should buy him? You haven't gotten the PlayStation 3 yet? 46-inch LCD well, TV? I'm kind of... 
sharing that with my roommate, so... Boy, that list is getting bigger and bigger. Now, it started out with like some art supplies. He had me there, but now he's up to um, LCD TV. Right. A, uni- uh, a universal remote charger, a six hundred dollar Blu ray player. Um, wow. A lightweight tripod. And by oh, the way, I'm different. psyched. You know what I'm What's doing? What's the tripod? For? Two different tripods. Tripod uses that as a chair. <laughs> no. He sticks it up his ass. A travel <laughs> clock. <laughs> travel clock. He never goes anywhere. Right. <laughs> Well, I go from the recliner. I might to buy the him bed. a travel clock. How much is that? Wait, put on your mic. I, I have to go back. I was just looking at the uh, Oakland A's cufflinks. Oh, I'll buy him that. Cufflinks. Oakland A's cufflinks. Where How does much? he get dressed up oh, to oh, use cufflinks? The travel clock is currently on a van. What, what kind of clothing do you wear that you need cufflinks? You know you don't wear a fucking suit with a, a shirt that needs cufflinks. It's not uh. like he's going to win the World Series. Yeah, why would you put that on your list? I'm buying him that. How are two different books? How to draw animals and how to draw ocean animals and how, oh a third one how to draw grassland animals and how to draw cars. How to draw grassland animals? How much is that? I'm buying him that. See, I knew he was going to be drawing They're cars. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. He'd like a flow TV. A what? Flow TV. That's a little portable handheld. Oh TV. yeah. Why did Oakland A's cufflinks? That's the one I'm hung up on. Soon after you buy him the cufflinks, he'll have to buy, get a tux. I mean, do you have do you own any clothing like custom made clothing that would require cufflinks? I still have the tux from my brother's wedding. Yeah. When are you going to wear that again? <laughs> if his brother oh. gets divorced and then gets remarried. <laughs> Howard, uh, there's a navigation system. <laughs> <laughs> there's a, like a Sony CyberShot camera that's almost five hundred dollars. I'd like that myself. A Sony DVD DVD uh, recorder for one hundred thirty dollars. I'm thinking of getting that camera that I see Ashton Kutcher do the TV sh- the commercial for. It looks like it's fun. Look, his life seems so fun with that camera. Well, I was going to say, the is the camera as much fun as Ashton is having? I don't know. Like, I'm thinking my life would change if I get that camera. That looks like so much fun. That that that, that, that commercial works. I get sucked fucking in. I'm like, yeah. look at him. He's on the runway. He's snapping pictures. He's meeting chicks. It's a whole lifestyle. That camera. It gives you everything. I'll be, you know. I'll be, uh, I'll get that camera. I'll be taking pictures of my pubes. <laughs> Life hasn't changed. <laughs> and yet another endless picture of my dog sitting there acting schlumpy. Howard, this yeah. is 10 pages long. Wow. It's over, it's over 300 items. Um, let's see what else we have here. Four different types of external hard drives. What do you mean all that? An Oakland A tree skirt for an Xmas, uh, for a Christmas tree. That's $50. An Oakland A tree ornament? No, it's a, a Christmas skirt. Tree you know what Christmas skirt, skirt is? A Christmas skirt. Yeah, when you right. when you put the tree down, right, along the, the skirt, and then like around the bottom, you have the Oakland A's logo. Right. <laughs> it hides that little stand that the tree is in. Yeah. It goes from that to like he'd also like Microsoft 2008 if you could spare that. Wow. What does he need all those hard drives for? What do you, what do you need multiple hard drives for? I save a lot of music and uh, other stuff. Mm-hmm. Wow. How are tons of video games. Tons of books, um, tons of uh, tons and tons. Of and what are the books mostly like? Just mostly, almost all of them are how to draw. They're all like five dollar books that look like they're for four year olds. Yeah, right here. How to draw birds? How to draw cats? How to draw dogs? How to draw wild animals? How to draw aquarium animals? How to draw people? Can't you get that stuff on the internet? Like little drawing. Le- you know, first of all, those drawing books. No offense. I used when I was a little kid. I used to buy that John Neggy drawing book. Mm-hmm. And you go, go to page one, and they say, okay, you want to draw a dock with a, um, not that I want to draw a dock, but they're going to teach you how to draw a dock with a train coming down uh, the side road and this and that. Like the train one with the track, and the right. track is coming towards you with trees. So they, the first page, they go, okay, draw a circle and draw a cylinder-looking thing. And you do that. And the second page, they have almost a full train, and they go, okay, and now draw this. That's how they teach you how to draw. <laughs> they you, skip a whole bunch of yeah, steps. Like they go from the circle to the triangle <laughs> to the, almost a whole train. You know, I, I never understood the steps in between to get me to draw that train. Yeah. There's three more interesting things I saw on there. One's a Bose music system for $500. Jeez. One's a program for designing architecture in, in your house. He's like a regular Vincent Van Gogh, though, with all that artwork. Well, he says he hasn't drawn in years. What are you, you planning to start up again? I guess he fantasizes. He's gonna... <laughs> in seventh grade, someone told him he was really good at it. Let's, uh, so let's say you learn how to draw a dog. Where does that get you? Well, uh, I don't know exactly. No. The other thing, there's at least eight or nine different types of refrigerators on there. Of all yeah. sides. Refrigerators or coolers. What are you going to do with nine refrigerators? 
I don't know. There's just uh, different options. I see. But where are you going to put them all? By the way, none of them are full size refrigerators. Right, they're like major they're all mini. They're all mini refrigerators. <laughs> where are you going to put all these refrigerators? Not sure exactly where. Yeah. I think that you didn't really think this list through. Mm. Well, I think he's playing his odds. Right. I mean, uh, the uh, the odds of him getting anything is very okay. slim. So as for seven for refrigerators, opening. maybe you'll get one. One, right. yeah. like, like Jimmy Kimmel's looking at the list, and he goes, I'm not buying this city the refrigerator. By the, the ninth one down, he's like, all right, I'll get him a refrigerator. Right. Like, will wear you down. <laughs> <laughs> all I know is Jimmy was like, I think I'm going to buy him something. I was like, He's Whoa. consumed with uh, yeah, Eric. He, yeah, Jimmy said to me, how could you not be talking about Eric's list? I go, what is his list? He goes, he, he has a list on the Internet. But Jimmy's on the Internet 24 hours a day. And but, and uh, to be searching mm -hmm. Eric's stuff is amazing. Yeah. Who knew Eric was such an artist? He's a regular Vincent Van Diddenkro. Well, he's going to be. I'm trying to think of some names I can give him that... Would include small words like a Leonardo six inch. Leonardo the half pint. Yeah. <laughs> Andy War Small. <laughs> there you go. There Andy War Small. Yeah. Pick ass -o. Uh, what's that? That's the list. No, no, no. So this is. Hold on. Look at your mic. What is that? That's the list of fifteen items that have been purchased. So my question is: Did Eric buy those, or did people buy those for him? Major League Baseball ten, the show. That that I got with a, a gift card. So you got it yourself. The drawing set that's one hundred and fifty five bucks. Who got you that? I I don't think anything was purchased that for that much. WWE SmackDown versus Raw two thousand ten thirty nine seventy five. Who got you that? That I got off the gift cards for Christmas. Has anybody has anybody bought you anything besides your family with gift cards? Yes, there there's a couple of towels that got purchased by fans. San Francisco Giants fiber reactive pool beach bath towel. And I, there was an A's one also. Who bought you that? Fans of the show. Right? Uh, you spend a lot of time at the beach. Yeah. He loves the beach. <laughs> Did you see that guy oh. who just went to the beach? He's laying there on the beach, and he's just relaxing. And an emergency vehicle ran over him on the beach. You know, he yeah, wasn't even both wheels. He wasn't even laying there. He was in a chair. He was in a chair. And, you know, I got to tell you something. I spend a reasonable amount of time on beaches. I don't understand why they allow cars on a beach. I understand well, emergency were vehicle. emergency. This All is right. like a the SUV from, you know, it was a park person. That I understand. But I see on a lot of beaches, they just let people drive their trucks and cars on the beach i'm like what the fuck that can't be good for the environment and it can't be good for for people who are laying out i mean what what kind of thinking is that but they're like no we need to drive our trucks on the beach i'm like why because you're four years old yeah and i love those people who need to mm. drive right up to the water some guys go well they go we're fishermen i go yeah, yeah. okay show me where you're making your living fishing bullshit just fucking walk down there with your fishing rod stop the crap <laughs> Take a little cooler down there with your bait, and you can fish. Come on. Yeah, but that guy got run over by an SUV. Yeah. <laughs> and he lived. Yeah. They said the sand was soft, but he, but meanwhile, was in tremendous pain. He but broke his spine, everything. Tire tracks, the whole tread right yep. across him. All right. Hey, anyway, I got to go, Eric. Okay. All right. <clears throat> How do we get on that list? Amazon? Yes. Okay. I might buy you something. I don't know. When's your birthday? <laughs> March 11th. All right. Next year. You'll get something in March. <laughs> Later. Okay. Bye. Bye, Art. That's cut spot. He's got that fucking list up there. Uh, almost 300 items on it. Man. It's like, a, it's like his wedding. Some uh, Seven mini refrigerators. I bought, I'm going to buy him a dollhouse. He can live in it. <laughs> you should buy him seven mini refrigerators. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody get him a refrigerator. Yeah, you bu you pick out the one you're getting him, and I'll pick out one. We'll send him like seven refrigerators to see what he does with them. That'll be great. Yeah.